seem like a never-ending story. But as long as you make it a love story and not a horror story, it's all good. I never get tired of waking up, walking out of my front door in the morning and seeing this view. Isn't it just beautiful? Right, have more posts. George, run! You can do it! You can run! 
As you can see, there was a little bit of frost last night. Crisp morning. I've just given these posts an extra bash in this morning. They're quite secure. I do have one that has gone in skew. I think the post might be skew. Let's blame it on the post. I'm not. So this I'm just wanting to create like a barricade over here. I'm creating a barricade. It's not a pig pen. So it doesn't have to be as secure as pig pens. This is just so that when I move pigs, they are going to see a barricade and not head off um, where I've got to chase them around the neighbor's fields. So um, this is just sort of to keep them confined onto the farm should I get, should they get out or um, when I'm moving them. Because when you move them, in summer they follow the bucket, no, probably, uh, no problem. But in winter or fall, autumn, at this time of year, they're not so keen to follow the bucket because there's so many acorns and lots of grass and weeds for them to eat. So um, this is just to make moving them a little bit easier and also so that I can then let the sheep out to graze on the farm over there and that they won't come over here and then maybe go into the neighbor's property. So this is like a barricade more than a fence or a visual, a visual of a barricade. Let's put it that way. So for this visual barricade, I'm going to be using this vinyl cloth that looks quite solid actually that I got from Timu. So let's have a look. So this is what it looks like. It um, does come with a border around and it is quite solid actually. My worry of course is the wind that um, the wind can howl like mad over here. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'm creating like a wind tunnel or something. Yeah, we'll we'll see because the winds start in usually about like March, April is when we have hectic wind. And I see it does come with cable ties as well, but I'm going to be nailing it on, and I might just put cable ties on just to give it extra um, strength. So what I have learned is that you always put whatever you're going to use for the fencing on the inside of the fence on the side where the animals would be. So you're not going to put it on the outside. It's going to be on the inside. Over here. Of course, I can already see first mistake. Number one, I should have measured so that I'd make sure that I was going to put a post in for where the end of this would be. I didn't do that. Oh, well, we're just gonna have to try and see if we can make it work.
this is definitely one of those things that looks like a very easy project in your dreams while you're dreaming how it's going to look and it's a bit more difficult um, in practice but I'm very impressed with the quality of this cloth, I have to say. So because I've got, this is quite tall, this is like six foot high, 1.8 meters. So um, I do have some to fold over the top, but I'm thinking of leaving some at the bottom and then putting a layer of bricks on the bottom as well. So yeah, so this, piece is 10 meters long so what i'm going to do is i will join it onto that other one over there i am cautiously optimistic that creating this visual barrier is going to work as a deterrent to stop them wandering that way when i'm trying to herd them into one of the other pens um, whether it withstands the wind is a different story, but if you can just give it a go. Okay, so it is done. The posts were, I did have a couple of long posts. Um, that's why it's not exactly level at the top. Um, the bottom, I will be putting bricks all the way along the bottom. And uh, we'll see if this works. I mean, I think as a, vi a visual barrier, I think... It should do the job. What it'll, it'll do in the wind, I don't know. But it would have been nice to have built like a wooden fence or something. But I've got to do my skill set, which is quite limited. Um, I have arthritis in my thumbs, so swinging a hammer is not easy. So, yeah. But things that you do before breakfast. So it's time to go and have some breakfast now. And... Um, yeah, get on with the rest of the day. Um, after breakfast, I might come and fetch the wheelbarrow and bring some bricks to start putting down at the bottom. Of course, the next thing is going to be to build a gate, which I have never done myself before. So that's going to be interesting. So I have been gifted a lot of tiles I do have some pieces from my kitchen floor I have some from my cottage floor and I've got some left from my shower wall but some of these tiles are really quite stunning and because even though they clay tiles or ceramic tiles they're quite thick so it means I can put them on the floor so what I need to look at now is how I'm going to do this. Underneath the basin is going to be the easiest because um, that's nice and flat. I'd have to do like a mosaic effect or whatever going up that little, I don't know, access part there. It is flat around there, so um, there's some like ridges. I've just got to see how to sort of lay them and then graft them that I don't break my toe tripping over. 
extra bumps but this granite is going to have to stay like this so time to sort of look and see what i can do <coughs> oh, got an itchy throat so some of these tiles will have to be wall tiles those ones i will put maybe around that wash basin but the thicker ones like these can put on the floor i'm just thinking with this lovely colorful effect with the bottles and especially when i paint white in between the bottles that um a brightly colored floor will make it look quite a interesting bathroom so looking at what i've got i've got two of this one here this one two of those i've got quite a few boxes of these i've got a lot of these ones this is like a i think it's like a metallic metallic black i don't know in some light it looks silver and then it looks black so i'm not too sure what this is look but i've got quite a few boxes of those i've got some of this i've only got one of those i've got two of those and I've got a whole box of these ones. Here's some more of that other zigzaggy thing. And then there's some others over there. So, but it's mostly is it these ones. So to try and think what I will do. Hmm. What I put around like these these ones are too thin to go on the floor so this might be I don't know if I want just black on there though but yeah maybe I can do something put this around there these will be easier to fit around the basin as well so there's a whole lot of these and then mm -hmm. incorporate these somehow or other. I don't know. I need to think. But those, these ones, because I've got a lot of those, those I can put in between the leftover tiles that I've got. Lots of those. Okay, let me think. Let me think. I don't know if I put these on the floor. Maybe on the floor underneath where nobody's going to stand on them and you can just see them. Because they're quite pretty. Maybe I can do them under the under the basin. Okay, let me think. But I just needed to have a look and see what I had so I can make up my mind what I'm going to do. This, is, of course, is another project to be doing. Because it's just, yeah, I'm traveling next week and then the week after that I'm traveling and then I've got nothing for a few weeks. So that's when I hope to get this kind of thing, this floor done. Obviously, I'm not going to put the tiles down until I'm finished with this bottle wall section over here. So that I've got to finish. And then I've got to clean this floor perfectly before I lay tiles. So this is obviously not where everything is going to go, but I'm just... Because I'm not ready to start laying tiles yet, but I'm just moving around to see what it could look like so this wash basin I think these tiles like this I might do something like this and then at the back of the air I've got those shiny black tiles um, yeah I might do this for the basin um, I don't know. 
I don't know if I must use these on the floor or save it for some other place because it's just these four. I need to think how I'm going to do this. I'm just thinking I can maybe, I don't know if I can put those shiny black tiles on that part. Maybe. Maybe. How are my pregnant fairies? Let me give you something. You ready? There you go. Yep, blueberry. Hey, blueberry. Come on. Come on. There you go. Yeah, I think her milk is coming in. She's very loose at the back, so. Gingerbreads babies are going to be very soon. Hey, sweetie pie. I can't forget you. Hey. There we go. I have the spade and the wheelbarrow. I'm just going to get some sand that I want to put in the floor of this pig house over there because it's been hollowed out quite a bit so now when it rains water sort of runs in there so I want to address that issue goodness Betty every time you see me you think this is feeding time it's not you're so loud and Henry has been observed getting frisky with the girls hey Henry yes Cupcake, it's not feeding time yet, girls. Too early. You can see inside here, it's quite a muddy mess. There's like a pool there and water lying all around here. So the water sort of comes down. I've got to try and try and see if I can dig a little bit of a channel to get it away from running down here into this house. So, um, my aim is to just throw some sand on that to make it a little bit higher because it's a bit low over there. Um, to make it, yeah. It's got to be higher inside than it is outside. See, the back part is quite dry, but yeah. I want to sort of sort it all out here. Yeah. I've just tried to dig over here, but it is so hard. I think I need a, a pickaxe. So, um, to make like a channel that goes past this house. Of course, I have my building inspectors that keep coming to check on me. But I've spread out the sand. I have cleaned out rubbish that was in there. So it's ready to put some fresh straw down here, I think. You say, Coco Pop, you coming to check out the spade? Do you want to start digging? Hmm? It's not edible, I promise you. What have you girls done to your water? 
Hey, what have you done to your water? Yes. Just listen to them, even the sheep. It's like when I walk out of the kitchen, past the oak tree, they all come running and they start. It's like they know I'm on my way. Poor starving creatures. Good morning, girls. Are you ready for some food? Always ready for food. Always ready for anything. Oh my goodness, Cupcake! You make so much noise! Yes! Cupcake! Listen to you! Okay, girls. Food is coming. Morton arrived in Portugal yesterday, so he'll be coming to fetch his things, which is great. And uh, I'm now going to deliver straw to more pig houses because it is freezing today. It's not raining, it's just gloomy and icy cold. So um, I'm just going to give all the animals some more bedding. You can see until I get my barn bill done, I have to use my van as storage to keep things like straw dry. First straw delivery ready. So look who the cat dragged in. Uncle Morton, oh, the Uncle famous Mark. Viking, has arrived from Denmark. And his weapon is not uh, the Viking sword. It's, this is the brush cutter that he bought. Because Morton's also a Ryobi fan like me. Yeah, and it was so nice of Cindy that I could use her address to get this shipped here to Portugal. So we just made a video on my channel on reviewing this brush cutting thing. Trying it out on Cindy's brambles. And I'm going to go and do a little bit more. So. Oh, that's brilliant. So. And... He has exchanged his Viking helmet for, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Where is it? Here. Okay. Here. So he's using this Inel helmet, which I use when I do chainsawing, but it works brilliantly. So thanks, Morton, for popping by and testing it on my brambles, which are a nightmare. So I'm going to whirl this up to the girls at the top. They're going to be very excited when they see me, uh, thinking that it's feeding time, but it's not. So they will be sadly disappointed when it's just a wheelbarrow filled with straw. Girls, seriously, it's not feeding time. It doesn't help smiling at me, apple pie. It's not feeding time. I need to get in and you're blocking my way. I've got the wheelbarrow full with straw. The good news is that the roof is holding really well. The work the reason I did is awesome. And uh, just going to put some straw into these houses now they're still all wishful down there thinking i should be giving them food but it's not feeding time yet these pigs are all the same once you put the straw in they start moving it around and decorating 
We are little homemakers, aren't we? Even Cupcake is decorating. So, apple pie has gone straight to sleep in the straw. Look at this. <laughs> straight to sleep. You're very disappointed, Maggie. You thought it was going to be a wheelbarrow full of goodies to eat. Just straw.